Hi everyone! So, kamusta kayo? So, it's me again, Ma'am says. So, in this video, pag-uusapan natin yung concentration of solutions. Okay? Pag sinabi kasi natin concentration of solution, it is the amount of solute present in a given amount of solvent or given amount of solution. Okay? So, the concentration of a solution can be expressed in many different ways. So, one of the most commonly used units in chemistry is the molarity or capital M or molar concentration, which is the number of moles of solute per liter of solution. Okay, so molarity is defined as molarity is equal to moles of solute all over liters of solution. Okay? So, um, this um, formula okay, can also be expressed algebraically as capital M is equal to N all over B. Okay? So, keep in mind that the volume, the V, is liters of solution, not liters of solvent. Okay? And also, the molarity of a solution depends on temperature. So, in this um, equation, or in this formula, your N here denotes the number of moles. Okay? Moles of solute. And... Your V here is the volume of the solution okay, in liters. Okay? So, let's have an example. So, example, we have a 1.46 molar glucose. Or we have here the formula C6H12O6 solution. Okay? So, kung isusulat natin yan in, to, in molarity, okay? So, ito ang magiging tsura niya. 1.46 capital M C6H12O6. Okay? So, katulad lang din yan nito. So, a 1.46. 0.46 molar glucose solution written as 1.46 molar of glucose. Okay? So, it contains 1.46 moles of the solute in 1 liter of the solution. So, syempre, we do not always work with solution volumes of 1 liter. Thus, we have here 500 ml solution containing 0 0.70 mole of C6H12O6 also has a concentration of 0 0.146 molar. Okay, so paano yun? So, kung gaga um, kukuha ni natin yung um, or gagamitin natin yung equation kanina dun sa previous slide, we have here molarity is equal to 0 0.730 mole of C6H12O6 all over 500 ml solution. Okay? So, since we have here the given mole, di ba? Kasi molarity or M is equal to N over V, di ba? Where N, it denotes the number of moles, o ito na yon. And then, V um, is the volume of the solution in liter. So, mapapansin natin dito na naka-ML siya. So, therefore, kailangan natin gawing liter siya. So, itong um, given na to, imumultiply natin siya dito sa 1,000. ML solution all over 1 liter of solution. So, kailangan natin ma-convert si ML into solution. Knowing that, um, in 1 liter of solution, we have 1,000 ML, di ba? So, cancel 
yung ml okay so din nila matitira we have here the mole and the one um liters di ba so kung i-compute natin yan the answer is 1.46 mole over L. Okay. Or, we have 1.46 M C6 H12 O6. Okay. So, we have 1.46 molar glucose. Okay. So, let's have another example. Calculate the molarity of a solution prepared by dissolving 22 grams of CaCl2. So, given na yung molar mass niya, ito, to make a 100.0 ml solution. So, unang step dyan, kailangan mo muna isulat lahat ng given. Okay? So, what are the given? Ang given natin, we have mass of solute. Ayan, 22 grams. So, 22.0 grams of calcium chloride. Okay? And then, meron din tayong given na volume. Ito. So, we have here the volume of solution. Ilan? Okay, 100. So, we have here 100 ml. Okay? So, ano yung hinahanap natin? Okay, very good. The molarity. Okay? So, meron na tayong given. Alam na rin natin yung target natin. We have the molarity. So, paano natin ngayon isasolve yan? So, solution. Ano ulit yung formula ng molarity? Okay, we have M is equal to small n all over V. Wherein your N here is the number of moles of solute and your V is the volume of the solution in liters. Okay? Or the liter of solution. So, we will convert the mass of solute to the number of mole using the molar mass. So, yun muna yung gagawin natin. Kasi di ba kailangan natin ng number of moles? Since ang given natin ay nakagrams, kailangan natin siya ngayon i-convert to mole using this smaller mass. So, we have here the mass of solute. So, mo mole of solute is equal to, okay, get the mass of solute. We have 22.0 grams. So, we have here 22.0 grams of calcium chloride multiply sa ratio ng or dito sa uh, molar mass ng calcium chloride. Okay? So, ibig sabihin niyan in 1 mole of calcium chloride, meron kang 110 grams. So, in 1 mole of calcium chloride, meron kang 100 grams ng calcium chloride. Okay? So, take note. Mas, uh, mole of solute ang target natin. So, you will cancel the, un, uh, the given units of grams of calcium chloride. Ang matitira ay si, okay, si mole. So, kapag sinolve natin yan, we have, okay, very good, 0.200 mole calcium chloride. Okay. So, tapos na ba yan? Okay, hindi pa. So, kung kailangan natin i-convert yung mole of solute, syempre, ito, i-convert din natin. Bakit? Kasi ang given natin is ML. Ano ba kapag uh, molarity? Di ba yung V? That, that is the volume of the solution in liters. So, ibig sabihin niyan, i-convert natin tong ML or milliliters into liters. Okay. So, convert ml to liters. Okay, so we have the given ml 
0.0 ml solution. Multiply natin sa ratio ng liters at saka um, ml. For every 1 liter of solution, meron kang 1,000 ml solution. Okay, so we have here 1 L solution. Meron kang 1,000 ml of solution. Okay, so ang target natin kasi ay liter. So, cancel na natin yung ml. So, cancel, cancel. Matitira na lang si liters. Okay, so what will be the answer? We have 0. Point, okay, 1 liter solution. Okay, so we have now the number of moles and the volume of the solution in liters. We can now solve the uh, molarity, di ba? So if you're going to solve the molarity, dito na lang ah, hindi na kasha. <laughs> Ayan. So, dito natin sa taas. Palitan ko na lang yung kulay ng pen natin. Gawin natin green. Ayan. So, we have molarity. We have molarity is equal to mole of the solute over um, liter of solution or the volume of the solution in liters. So, we have the given mole, 0 point, eto. So, we have 0 0.2000 mole calcium chloride all over, okay, eto. So, 0 0.1 liter solution. Okay. So, pag ginumpute natin, we will get 2.0 mole over L or pwede 2.0 molar calcium chloride. Okay? So, Ganun lang computein yung uh, molarity ng isang solution. Okay? So, ulitin ko ah, para makompute yung molarity ng isang solution, so the formula that you will going to use is N over V, where N is your um, number of moles of solute, and then V is the volume of the solution of liters. So, pag nakita nyo na ang given ay nakagrams, okay, so, kukuha ninyo yung molar mass nung given na solute. Okay? So, kapag hindi given dito sa problem yung uh, molar mass ng solute, so, ang gagawin natin, computein nyo yung molar mass niya. Okay? And then, kapag nakuha mo na yung mole, so, meron ka ng N. Tignan mo naman ngayon yung volume ng solution mo. Kung nakalitos siya. Kung hindi siya nakalitos at naka-ML siya, so, kailangan mo ngayon i-convert it to Liter. So, ganito yung gagawin mo. Ito. Itong step na to. Ito. Okay? Then, kapag meron ka ng given na mole, ayan, at may given ka na rin na liters, pwede mo na ngayon isolve or compute in or i-calculate yung molarity ng solution. Okay? So, mole of solute, divide mo lang dun sa liters of solution, so, you will get the molarity. Okay? So, that's it for the molarity of a solution. How to calculate the molarity of a solution. So, I hope na may natutunan kayo about molarity. If you have questions regarding this, pwede kayo mag-PM sa akin or mag-comment lang dito or sa Google Classroom natin and sa Messenger. Okay? Thank you for listening. Um, God bless us all.